Hi there, I'm Dan from Seagull.com and today we're going to review how to set up the world's first high performance all drop stitch inflatable kayak. It's the Seagull Razor Light. So let's begin by unpacking. Now there are three air valves located at the front of your kayak. One for the floor and one for each side chamber. Remove the caps and push down on the center valve stem and quarter turn it to the left until they spring up into the upright position. Included with your razor light is a high volume, high pressure piston pump and setting it up is quite easy. You'll notice on the top of the handle reads the word inflate with an arrow pointing to the port. Locate your inline pressure gauge and attach it here. Then take your pump hose and attach it to your pressure gauge. Now, on the end of the hose, what you're going to find is a recessed valve adapter. Take this, push it into the air valve, and turn it to the right till it's fully seated and you're ready for inflation. Now, there's no particular sequence on inflating the different chambers of the razor light. You just want to make sure that you inflate all chambers to the proper working pressure of 10 psi. Sea Eagle offers a line of electric pumps to make inflation even easier. Simply set it, set the dial gauge to the desired pressure setting, press it, press the on button, and forget it. Our pumps will automatically shut off when your desired pressure setting has been reached. Always remember to only use a Sea Eagle recommended electric pump and never an air compressor, which can easily overinflate your Sea Eagle. Don't forget to replace all your air valve caps. The tall back seat included with your razor light has four adjustable straps. Two straps for the back, two straps for the front. With them fully extended, take the rear straps and attach them to the rear D-rings. and take the front straps and attach them to the front D-rings. Position the seat where you desire it, then tighten up the four straps. Locate the adjustable footrest kit included with your razor light. In it, you're going to find an adjustable footrest strap, two clips, and the tube footrest. The first thing you want to do is take the clips and feed them onto your strap, both of them. Then take the strap and secure it through itself. making a complete loop. Next, attach the clip to the footrest D-ring. Then take the other clip and pass it through the footrest tube. Take the remaining clip and attach it to the remaining footrest D-ring. To adjust the strap, simply pull on the loose end and position the footrest to your desired location. Next is the assemble the four part AB40 paddle. Locate your two paddle blades, they should be opposing. Your drip guards, there should be two of them. and your two shaft sections. One of them is going to have a raised heel on it. On this shaft there will be three pre-drilled holes on one end and a single hole on the opposite end. On the side with the single hole, take one of your drip guards and slide it onto that section. 
Then simply snap in your paddle blade. Repeat this with the other blade. Then take the shaft with the male end and slide it to the other end, which is the female end, at which point you can see where the three pre-drilled holes are. These holes are designed for you to feather your paddle blade into the wind. The two-piece AB50 carbon fiber paddles are over a half a pound lighter than the AB40 paddles. This means that they're great for touring and also for cooler environmental temperatures because the carbon fibers don't transmit cold temperatures, which means that your hands will stay warmer. Simply take the two halves and snap them together. It has the same three pre-drilled hole positions for feathering the paddle. Flip your razor light over, then slide in the rear skeg. It should slide in easily, so remember not to force it. Secure it with the retaining clip. Flip your razor light over, reposition the seat, and you're ready to go. Because of its design and world's first all drop stitch construction, the Seagull Razor Light can be inflated to higher pressure than any other inflatable kayak, resulting in a much sleeker, rigid, contoured shape that's incredibly faster, lighter, and higher performing than any other inflatable kayak on the market. Packing up your Razor Light is quick and easy. Simply flip it upside down and remove the rear skeg. Then unclip the tall back seat. And your foot rest. Remove the air valve caps. Push the valve stems down and quarter turn them to the right. The stems will lock in the down or open position, allowing the air to escape. Before you do this, be sure that your face is not directly over the valve. Take your kayak and fold it in half, placing one wall over the other and work your way towards the rear. Once at the rear, you're going to see your two drain valves and your skeg base and then the back end of the kayak. Right here between the drain valves and the skeg base is where you're going to make your first fold. This will allow you to keep the skeg base entirely flat at all times. Continue folding the kayak towards the front, pushing all the air out as you fold. Push all the air out and pack this and the rest of your accessories in your all-purpose backpack. If you find this video helpful and would like to see others like it, please click here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, I'm Dan with Seagull.com and I'll see you out in the water.